fear, I found a comfortable place in our hero. Father Jim Mathaway starts to fear. Say, very quick, fear. All that. began to fill with woe. The night had not eaten in many hours, and the scent of <laughs> He's fat. Do you don't see many fat knights in fantasy fiction? No, no. Oh, oh, to be fair, there's very few fat people. Oh, especially peasants, they should not be fat. <laughs> the spell. The truth be told, he didn't mind having some company that stuck in your head. <laughs> this has got to be weird. This is like multiple personalities in there. And yet they have conversations with each other. Strange. Fear not, I shall lead the way. I wish there was more light. My flaming sword will. Go on, you started. My flaming sword will light the way, but it's not really lighting the way. Oh. You're gonna complain again about the skeletons breathing fur? No, we're not getting. Complain last. Like, how do they breathe? <laughs> how are they? I have a problem with it, but we're not going over it again. What philosophical topic do you want to go about this time? I don't know, I'm sure we had colour last time, and what is colour? <laughs> to be fair, this, none of these were moments that were sort of we brought up. Can you? <laughs> oh, the way I talk about it, it's like you can't get his penis out. They never, it's a waste of time. You can't fire fireballs out. I can light the torches with fire. I can light the torches too! With my fire arrows. So you can light torches with fire. Huh. You, can see, you can now see what you're doing. We're in a swamp. Uh, caves. Hence the, uh, oh, they're spikes, not stalactites. Or mites, or whatever the fuck they're called. Tights, tights hang down. You looked it up. <laughs> I remember I right tight down. Yeah, that's you say that. What kind of you go, tights hang down! You might get a slap. From someone. Telekinesis! Ah, I'm not loving evils down here. Oh, I'm fine! Dunking the green stuff. I know what the green stuff is. Mountain Dew. I think it's a smoothie. Mountain Dew smoothie. I'm surprised it hasn't been done. I think it has. I was more thinking of the thing, the uh, innocent Dew, or things like that, which is just the green smoothie. I refuse to pay three pound or how much they cost for a smoothie. Um, I could get some fruit and do it myself for that price. Probably better for you. You probably do more. You probably make more than one as well for that price as well. I missed. All right, there we. Oh, hit him and lit the torch. That is a good, nice. I am a badass. Just hold it. Come on, jump. Thank you. You can like with the fire sword. Oh yeah. Just you can't like. They thought of that. No, no. I am on the quest for more food. Wizards, wizards on a quest to get laid. Oh. And the thief just doesn't give a shit. I'll right, get this eventually. There we are. You're not winning gold for that. Silver. I'm sorry, bronze, actually. Fuck off, man. <laughs> I'm better than those crappy... I don't know who's bad at archery. In. I don't know who's good at archery. In. I imagine the British... Um, cause it's one of those things I can imagine the British being very good at. Archery. We are right at archery. How we shoot the peasants. Make them run, and then we just pull back gently. You realise that not all... Not all. Just because it's British and the Olympics does not mean you're aristocracy. I'm going by the American view of the English, where everyone talks like they're from a fucking period piece. It won't quite reach! <clears throat> ah, every man has had that problem where it works just won't reach. I don't know where that was going. Uh, no joke. It went somewhere and I wasn't aware of it. Have you lost control of the joke? Call this number. It's a problem that affects many men in this country. There's nothing to be ashamed of. 
Cool, 0800. Something, 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 something. You're bad at this. What's in America when they have numbers with letters in them? How does that work? For how does that work? Well, do you press the number twice like if you're texting or do you answer? No, you just press the, the letters that's on the keypad. You're already in the phone number. Yeah, but the but the numbers. Yeah, but say the... if you want a letter, do you, like, you press it twice because you know, there's three letters. No. Number pad. Okay. No. I never. I don't ring American phone lines very often. See, was that so difficult for you to bloody well do? Yes, I'm trying to overthink this. You're trying to, you're trying to fuck it over. I'm trying to overthink this. We're on our way. We're moving forward. That's the main thing. He's all dead. Um. If you find arrow or shield, it's not, you're not going to win that fight. Um. Oh, he jumped over the arrow. This guy's an Olympian. Um. I was. <laughs> well, Zika virus got through. Oh, that's <laughs> cold. <laughs> they even still thing in Brazil. I don't know. Yes, it is. Like, but even then, I was going to say the Zika virus it doesn't work like that anyway. No, I don't even know how it works. Like, just heard stories about all the Olympians gonna get ill or get shot or kidnapped and it's all gonna go downhill. Like for every Olympics they always say it's gonna go down the shitter and it always goes relatively fine. Remember London? And it's all gonna be fucked up and it was all gonna be this and that the boss. Yes. If you can guess where the weak spot is, congratulations you can see. I wonder where I'm meant to hit. Dead. What Eat is that. it supposed to be exactly? No, I'm gonna call Killer Croc. Killer Croc and move on. We're close to the dungeons. Woo! Let's dungeons. They sound fun. The castle. The castle. Why is that got a weird bunny rabbit head? Has its bones for a handle, I think. Uh. Sorry, this is not bunnies for you. <laughs> if you want fluffy bunnies, you go pay the ammo. You never did show me that level, by the way. One the arrow. The knight thought back to his childhood days and the excitement when his parents were killed. And that day he became medieval Batman. And the bones were piled neatly in the corners. Oh, sure. That was supposed to be more of a epic kind of. This place gives me the chills. It's a dungeon. That's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> Fear not. I have my sword and my cape. See, he has a cape. He is Batman. I to victory. We are invincible. Now he's what's his face in gold now. I think coming. I can't remember the character's name. But... Maybe can I actually? It was I coming though? God no. You're invincible. No, the only good Pierce Brosnan James Bond film was God, no? Yes. I don't mind the world's not enough. I quite like that. Like. I like the song. And now I'm just gonna cheat the system. <laughs> oh, oh god, I punished me for cheating. Can you step forward, please? Thank you. Okay, puzzle, Titan bottle. Do this. One and two and What's on my shoe? Oh, that was a gymnastic section. This is rapidly turning into a game show. Like the most awesome game show ever. What was a, a game show called that was on Kiss TV a lot when I was a kid? I featured you doing physical things and I can't remember. There were lots of them. Game show. Back when you could get kids to the exercise and you won't you won't shame for fat shaming. Good. Oh, this is some this is some Castlevania shit right here. Now yeah. uh, you missed and he's dead. Well this guy fare any better. Nope. And um to be fair, they have no brains. Yes. Can't be too harsh on them. But part they do have lungs. Which they shouldn't. 
This is boring. That can't happen. It can't I'm happen. not boring. It can't. It's called magic. <laughs> It's called, it's magic, we didn't have to explain it. Or as I call it, every Star Wars plot point ever. <laughs> fucking explain it. Pull this lever, bunny rabbit lever. Hi, bye bye. What does this look like to them when they see a nimble thief turn into a fat knight? Do they see a physical change? I know, that really messed someone's date up. Um, moment of this seductive thief and the next one is fat. Podgy knight who likes eating a lot of food. And probably belches a lot, I imagine. Conforming to stereotypes much? It's still games before this thing, huh? The fact that the thief has a bow and arrow. It seems like a lot of extra weight to carry if you're actually being a thief. A bow and arrow. A sword, dagger, or a knife would probably be easier. Again, it's, we have that conversation this game about is, how this game is bullshit. And, um, <laughs> That water's got to smell lovely. Oh. Do, 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 do. Swimming in the sewer because, yeah. That's how you become a teenage ninja, mutant, angel, alien, monster, turtle, whatever the fuck they're called these days. You're right, you sort of. Went on a weird bit of words there. You know, I can't remember what they called the turtles anymore. Teenage so probably... mutant ninja turtles. They weren't mutants anymore. They're uh, not, but my name's sake, they're still and Thoroughly gave them a bow stuff up the ass. I don't know. Isn't there another one of those films out? Yes, it came out a while ago. There's another Transformers film coming out. Next year. Ah, uh, Skeleton Boys, but Skeletor's back, Skeletor's gone. This is the end if you reboot He-Man, it's gritty and serious. This will be Skeletor. But he will still have that really mincing voice. Huh. It's a bright haven't brought that back yet, He-Man. Or are they planning to, I just don't know. They did it as a cartoon series, I remember, when I was a kid. I want to see the gritty reboot of He-Man. I don't. It'd be hilarious. It's like when they try to make Aquaman serious. You're just making it funnier. Because Aquaman was serious. I know, but I still like making the jet skis jokes. Aquaman fans get really defensive. And you bring up the whales. And he's dead. I am the victor. I drink his blood. He doesn't have any. Damn it! Just swing wildly and assume they're all dead. Missed. Try again. Wizard jumping. Why do wizards wear robes? Just asking. Why wizards wear robes? I think it's more to do with the uh, the aesthetics of it being a bit like a monk. Yeah. That kind of thing. I think class for a wizard. <laughs> um. So monks in WoW with new kung fu. I don't know. So, you know. Ask Google. I can't we ask? Google shouts me when I ask stupid questions. It's turned to really like like pass a question parent now. You shouldn't be able to answer that question. Oh, there's a game somewhere, like a free game online that uses like you are given half a Google search and you have to complete it and it gives you like a family fortune to what are the most popular things people search for on Google. And it's the fuck, first thing I got it's my fucking answer. terrifying. I started typing in why do wizards? And the first thing that appeared was, why do wizards smell? <laughs> That's right. It's, it's symbol looks like the artifact we're looking for. Oh, these artifacts anyway. That's all we've got. Um, fuck it. Yeah. Right, I typed it in, and I got on Cora. There are five answers. Mm -hmm. Right, you ready? Go on, right, top answer was um, 
Because of the increased ventilation, this is actually a wizarding movement called Fresh Air Refreshes Totally. That stands for a witch or wizard's right to wear robes at all times, because they believe that trousers stem the magical flow at source. Which part of me thinks is Terry Pratchett, actually. No, it's not. Okay. I see what I did with it. Okay. No, I glanced at him, but it's a throne of the Lich King. It doesn't have a throne of the Lost King. Lich King, Arthas. No. That should have been what the Warcraft film should have been. They will at some stage. Did they get another map? They will. They, they, they oh, yeah, I don't know. Because it did brilliantly well. It did, it, it did really well in the, um, the Chinese market. Ah, oh, China saving film since... Yeah. Right, TV tropes is a few explanations why. I've got a TV tropes. The website you can lose days to. And you have. I have, many times for last few Right, you ready? Go on then. Magic users, especially medieval fantasy, will almost always wear robes of one sort or another. The particular type of robe varies, and even those mages who eschew the robe tend to wear cloaks, capes. Capes, well, more, West more, more, and more for more modern characters, trench coats. At least in part, it seems to be because the loose billowy clothes look that much more impressive during a magic-induced chunky updraft or dramatic wind. The same logic behind long hair, because it looks cool and blowing in the wind. Even the stripperific costumes worn by nymphite sorceresses tend stripperific. to Stripperific. Say that word again. Stripperific. Thank you. Um, Why? It's you saying that, hilarious. Even the stripperific costumes worn by nymphette sorceresses tend to have a few loose scraps of cloth fluttering about. The the more side, ah, here we are. On the more practical side, robes' light weight rarely hinders any necessary magic gestures like heavy armor would. There you go. TV truck saving the day right now. Yeah. Uh. This video was brought to you by. No, it doesn't. Um. Dun, 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 dun. No. Indiana Jones is bitch. Well, Indiana Jones never could just magically move things. Aww. And catapult myself into space now. Oh, that's parkour, this bitch. Oh god, no, it's going, it's going wrong. Okay, fine. <laughs> just walk into the door. The giant mouth. Oh god, this is now turned into this. This is a fucking game show now. No, 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 no. Oh god, this is getting tense. I've now lost the TV code because I'll never see him again. There's so much information here. <laughs> TV tropes, so when you want to sound smart, that's what you're talking about. Someone keeps leaving their spiked balls lying around the place. These are a health and safety hazard. Someone can impale their robe on it. Oh god, this is not timing. Ah! Ah! Now the bonus round. <laughs> bonus round was easier than it normally was. Yeah, just kick that guy in the face while swinging. Pretty sure I hit that, but we'll move. Dun 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 dun. The wheels are turning. He lost you, TV tropes now. A little bit. Get rid of it. But you can do it on your own time. Um, on TV tropes. Oh god, spinning gears! This is now turned to Sonic level. Ow! Spikes, it is a Sonic level. Turn, turn. They move my stand them! Oh god. Oh, 
one. Mostly. There's a lot of information on there. Anyways. Where? What happened whilst I was gone? I'm arguing some gears. Okay. Get back two trips he goes. Um. Down I like can't up there. Oh, I knocked it off. Oh, this is all gone down the shit Run, run. If you don't stop, it's fine. Eat arrow feet. Some sort of book. Oh, the next Comic Con. A closer look. Dear diary. Dear diary. Saw a skeleton today. That's all. Ah. Uh, uh, Saw a skeleton breathing fire. How does that work? Sent a complaint to the Magical Commission. Awaiting response. Very strongly worded letter on parchment. Delivered by bird. Don't know what kind of bird, just... A bird. Just a bird. Are you referring to the bird there? Bird. <laughs> Exists a place that the guardians had called their home. If this was true, and the ruins were the origin of the artifacts, our heroes might finally get some answers. Not all, just some. Some of the answers. They have to solve a word search first. In the middle of the forest, long distance away. Oh, another forest. All fancy lands are our fields and forests. Called Fangle Forest. Fangle. Yep. Someone who had a lisp made that name up. Fangle. Fangle. Oh, I see no fangles in this forest. See, they're purple. Very pretty purple. Now, oh, the weed's taking effect. We all know the wizard is clearly a dealer. <laughs> How he remains chill. Once someone wear weed, it will chill you out. Nope. Uh. Damn, he jumped over arrow again. Guys, the maneuvers. They have better evasive maneuvers than Han Solo. Swing! I'm oh, done. Kill, then swing. Yeah. Wait for my lift to come back. Oh god! Oh god! Spike to the face. Bikes. Ow. Bikes. Bikes. Ow. I'm fine. It's mildly perforated my uh something. Just hang. Wee! <laughs> oh, that's so much fun. Look at the purple, the pretty pretty purple. It's like ram face first to a spike. comes out and rips your throat out. But there's a fairy tale for us. The wolf was just an allegory for something. Scales of fish. Woo! I don't know how useful that is. It's scales of fish. It's the most useful item in any RPG. It allows you to turn into a fish man. Really? No, you don't. It, I think that's what allows you to be in the water. But does not allow you to jump out of water. Oh man, he's swimming in robes. Probably quite heavy robes as well. Probably. Yeah, that'd be fine. Too bad Knight swims in armor. I'm pretty sure that is the most will just sink with you if you're in full play armor. It'd be like an old fashioned scuba dome, which is really heavy. And the battle suit. Do, 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 do. What you're meant to do is go underwater and push the cube, the squirt, the cube underwater. I'm trying to get clever. That's what normally happens when I try and be clever. It fails horribly. No! <laughs> I refuse to solve your puzzle the correct way. I will find my own way. Even if I have to. Because apparently the wizard can't even match you underwater. Fine, we'll do it your way. Game. Did you know what you had to do? Yes. Or... I'm actively here. Now I'm going to do it. Underground, underwater, there is a cube. There's enough time to portal. Push the cube. Cube floats. You can hit that as well. But there we are. I've made a house. 
Very good, Sean. You uh, made a house. I'm smart. No, no. Oh god, I fell off. Damn physics. Okay, just. Oh, it's going again. Run quickly. Oh god, I'm drowning. This is why physics engines get annoying after a while. Oh god, I summon something accidentally. <laughs> Panic! <laughs> Panic! It's all gone horribly wrong. Just run if you can. We're up. No one's oh, I'm crying with laughter. Damn you, skeleton. You jumped to my platform, I was. Oh, this guy's got maneuvers. Look at him go! Ow! <laughs> you don't smack someone with a sword when they're about to pull their bow. <laughs> He's still in the stairs now. <laughs> I can make a jump. Yeah, we can. Fuck your puzzle. Giant mushrooms, another feature. That's typical fantasy. Yeah. In Morrowind, you, they live, the Dark Elves live in giant mushrooms, I like grow. That's in... Morrowind. Which is part of the Elder Scrolls. Yeah. Hold yeah. Well on. I, I, I don't really know, I've never played Elder Scrolls, I like Jack. Uh, this is like Helm's Deep, only more epic. Um, is it? It's not. It's as happy as Helm's Deep. Nothing like Helm's Deep. I know, I'm battling things. Maybe we've got. Oh god! Orcs and Undead are practically just. No. Changeable. It's just an evil army of something evil. It's yeah, but an evil army of anything is just interchangeable when you just phrase it like an okay, evil army. Okay, done. One, and two. Ah, giant spiders! Which is surprisingly small considering how big some of them can get in fantasy. In Harry Potter, you had giant spiders. Aragog. He died. It was like, like, like sad. Like, oh no, the giant spider is dead. And every arachnophobic and high horns went, thank fucking god. Was that your reaction? No, I'm not arachnophobic. I can give two shits about Aragog. He's in my character in one book. Speaking of Harry Potter, that. there is a new Harry Potter book out. Based on the uh, play. That's, uh, it's the script for it, though. Oh, is not, it the script? Yeah. It's the script for the, uh, the play series. But J.K. Rowling has said that she's gonna. there will be three new Harry Potter books. As we all know, the best bit about Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows was the epilogue. I've not read the Deathly Hallows. Uh, well, the epilogue was fucking stupid. Right. Harry should never be allowed to name children ever. That's all I'm saying. Didn't he name one Albus and another one Severus? He didn't, yeah, he just should never be allowed to name children, name children ever. Right. I can't remember. You only had the full names. I um, can't remember what Ron and Hermione's had to they had the kids or several. People, we just breed like puppies or fuck, bunnies, puppies. Bunnies is what I meant to say. For the amount of children they have. Why? I think we have lots of children. And I, oh, I'm not aware of child as well, I can't remember whose name that yes. give a shit about. I, I just don't know. I shouldn't like the forces of evil. But I've not read Deathly Hallows and I didn't read half the print. But for now, and all of Phoenix is where it got boring. That was the last one I read. It's like, oh my god, something happened. Oh, I've been to see it. Alright. Deathly Hallows is kind of. Eh. The end. It does turn into a bloodbath, so Deathly Hallows. If you just start literally just dying left and right. Ah, Ribena! Purple, that means it's Ribena. No, if it's evil though and purple, it's Vimto. What's wrong with Vimto? I don't like Vimto. I prefer Ribena. You would. No. What's that supposed to mean? No. It's like, you would prefer Ribena. I drink a man's drink. 7 up. Man's drink. Oh. This is the Coke versus Pepsi argument. Uh, the answer to that question is Coke. If you prefer Pepsi, you're part of the problem. You're why we can't have nice things. I don't like any fizzy drink. I don't like fizzy drinks. I never have. I never will. 
Probably not. It's not oh, like I don't like. Is it, 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 no. Okay. I don't like fizz. I don't like carbonated drinks generally. Right. I just thought we was getting the same stream for their birthday. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I, I borrowed Thor's hammer. Um, yeah, I was going to say, when do you get a sledgehammer? Because everyone needs a sledgehammer. Sledgehammer's a fuck. Is that the key to go to the Phil Collins song? Oh, I've got. They, we, I have a sledgehammer downstairs. I can go and get. Um, useful for breaking things. Oh, it even looks even prettier at night. A lot of things look prettier at night. Most cities look prettier at night. Yes, that's true. Maybe because you can't see all the peasants. Airport! In case, in case anyone is wondering why Sean always seems to go for this aristocracy angle, he is actually the... Uh... I'm currently sitting in my, in my mansion. Well, it's uh, not only that, he's actually the 13th Duke of Wimborne. Yes, sir. Uh... Me, 13th Duke of Wimborne, here. My dear boy. Since I'm more than playing croquet on the lawn. I was going with the fast show reference, actually. Uh, I'm just going for general. I'll send you the sketch, it's one of the funniest ones in the world. See, yeah, but every sketch you send me. This is the funniest yes. sketch in the world. See, yeah, all of them. The fast show stuff is good, and the 13th Duke of Wimborne is just funny as anything. More spiders. <laughs> I assume they're spiders. Oh, it's dead now, that's the main thing. It, um, they must be spiders, they live It's on... always spiders in fantasy fiction. <laughs> Generally, it is actually. When there's a spider so big, its eyes bigger than your head, and there's lots of them blinking at you, it terrifies most people. And the way spiders move is generally creepy. They don't scuttle like, like most insects, they're very deliberate with their movements. Like they're planning something. Never trust a spider. I'm saying. They're up to something. They're gonna lay eggs in your brain in your sleep. I thought you said you weren't an arachnophobe. I know, I'm just freak shit out people who are. Um, I ain't give a shit, spiders. Not even, part a, of the plan. not even not even a tarantula. Because that I understand that you might be frightened of because they're massive hairy things, but day long legs is not gonna stay long legs. One swift swack and you're fine. Swack. Swack. It's like a smack or a swat. It's both. It's a swack. It's like a spork. Right. Okay. Where have you been? I don't know. Scotland's the answer to that question. Right. <laughs> 